For our dragonfly spin, we just need to be comfortable spinning, but it will help if you've done things like your hook and slide, your attitude spin, or your switcheroo spin, because some of those positionings and skills are going to help you with this one. Now, I've seen people do this one before, and I never really paid it much attention, but I have a trainee instructor right now, and she covered, uh, as I covered, she taught one of her first classes under my supervision last week, and she taught this one, and I just thought it looked so much fun, and it's so doable, so I'm stealing it. Thank you, Jen. Um, so, we're going to start with a step around to a lunge position because this is quite a nice way to set it up. You absolutely could just go straight from the lunge position straight into it, but I do think it creates this really nice kind of sweepy round and sweepy back. It's sort of corkscrewy. It's really pretty. So let's break it down first, then we'll do right and left like we always do. So we're going to do our step around. At the end of our step around, we are going to swing the leg out and come down into a lunge position right up on our tippy toe, knee in line with the foot, and you can go as low or as high as you are comfortable to. The hands do not change, they are the same. The back leg is now gonna draw a circle back the other way, and it's gonna stay on the floor. You're gonna then pick the foot up on the front leg, and you're gonna slide down onto your bum. Now with this one, generally, we are also, it's hard to do when you're doing it slow, but we are trying to get our head down a little bit as we spin. And quite a lot of people do this with their hand. And what they'll do is they'll have both their hand and their foot sliding as they go. Now, obviously, one-handed is significantly more advanced. I would say that is advanced or higher intermediate, but that's an option that can happen as well. But we do want to think, even if we've got both hands, about leaning to the side. I think it was Kendra who said she was taught the cue as if you're trying to listen to the floor, okay? I guess like you would listen to the sea in a shell, right? So you're gonna listen, get your ear close to the ground so you can hear through the floor, which in our Trowbridge studio, if you put your head to the floor, you can sometimes hear the hairdressers gossiping underneath the floor. So <laughs> it's quite handy to think of it that way. Okay, so right side, let's go. I will show you from a few different angles. So we're gonna start with the right hand on top, left hand where you're comfortable. Remember, lower is generally harder, but for this one, lower will help with that kind of tip. If that hand's high, it's a lot harder to tip because the arm gets in the way. We're gonna step on our right foot and do our step around with our left leg. Once we step onto our left foot, we're gonna bend our left leg and our right leg is gonna circle until our hips are now facing the pole and we're in our little lunge position. And again, you can go really low or you can stay quite high. If you've got less space, being higher is better because your leg is not gonna go quite as wide when you go into the spin. So if you're kicking things, you could even do it like here versus all the way down here, which if I go all the way down here, I can only just my foot is just touching that back wall, okay? So now we have the right hand on top, the left foot is in front. My right leg is now gonna circle to the right or anti-clockwise, and it's gonna stay on the floor. I'm gonna start to drop my head down to the left. And as I turn into the pole, I'm gonna pick my left foot up, and I'm just gonna keep going until I slide down to the ground, okay? Now in terms of if this was a routine, you're performing it or you're filming it in terms of angles, you do want to think about trying to end up facing your mirror, your camera, your audience. Now for me, because we're already heading down, I like to end it, I think this is how gentle it too, opening up the legs into a nice straddle. And then there's lots of places you can go from there. I've been taking my leg over onto my tummy and then you can push back or wherever you'd like to go. So let's talk about that again, and then we'll do a backwards view as well. So right hand nice and high, left hand a little bit lower. Start facing your audience so you get all the best angles. And remember in your step around, your left foot needs to come back to your right foot. So right foot steps, left foot circles, get your left foot next to your right foot, draw a circle back with that right foot behind you, and bend your left leg. Sink as low or as high as you want to go. 
Start to drop your head down to the left as your right leg circles around. Now, as you're turning in, there comes a moment where this leg just pops up. Okay, you'll feel it. It has to happen exactly like that. Let's do that one more time. So, inside arm nice and high, right arm high. Step on the right foot, circle the left. Circle the right leg all the way back into your lunge. And we're starting to tip over to the left. Right leg starts to go anti-clockwise or to your right. Keep the foot on the floor, pick the left leg up and slide yourself down. And we're thinking the whole time again about keeping our chest over towards our bent leg so that we can land onto our hand or our elbow. Then gonna bend the top leg up and straighten. And if you've landed in the right place, this can look quite bendy even when you're not that bendy. Always think kind of crotch to your audience. We're then gonna take the top leg over past the pole, onto the tummy, and then you can push back or go wherever you wanna go next. Let me just show you that once from behind and then we'll do the left. So right hand on top, step right foot close to the pole, circle the left. Circle the right leg around, Okay, sink into your position. Now reverse it. So right leg now goes to the right. Left foot comes off the floor. Slide down. Right leg comes up, straighten. And then roll onto your tummy. Okay. So, left side. Exactly the same, just on the left. So left arm nice and high. We're gonna step, remember right hand comes low so that you can lean. Step on your left leg, circle your right. Do your step around. Swing the left leg behind and sink into your lunge. So I don't know if I said in the previous one on the right, you want your lunge to kind of be about sideways onto your audience. It could be slightly diagonal, but somewhere sort of side on is gonna look better. So we have the left hand on, the right foot in the front of our lunge. Now the left leg is gonna draw a circle to the left or clockwise. The left foot stays on the floor. The right foot stays on the floor till the pole hits the leg. And we keep going, leaning as much as we can until we're facing our audience. Now we come down to the right elbow. Left leg bends, legs open. And we take that left leg over past the pole towards our right leg onto our tummy. Do that again. So left hand on top. Step left, circle right. Circle the left leg around, sink down into your lunge. Reverse your direction. So left leg now goes to the left or clockwise. Keep your head down, pick your foot up and slide until you're facing your audience. Onto your right elbow, bend the left leg, open, and roll onto the tummy. Do one from behind. Where am I going here? <laughs> so, left hand high. Step on the left foot, circle the right, into your step around. Circle your left leg around, sink into your lunge. Remember to keep really up on your tippy toe, knee in line with the foot. Now reverse it, we're gonna go to the left. Right foot stays on the floor till the pole hits the floor and we keep sliding until we face our audience onto the right elbow. Bring the right, uh, left leg up, sorry. Open the legs. Bring the left leg to the right, push the hips forward, roll onto the tummy. Ooh. Okay, so one thing I've had a bit of a problem with today, I'd like to lean more and I'd like to take a hand off, but <laughs> it, I'm literally sweating just by being in this pole room. You probably noticed the video was stitched together because my phone overheated again after about 10 minutes. So it is very, very slidey. But let me just try and show you what we can do if we take that hand off. Let me see if it'll work. So, same as before. Kind of, I went a bit fast, but yeah. So the idea is that your arm and leg are sweeping across the floor together if you can hold it. Like I said, this is way more advanced because you need to be able to do one arm spins on a spin pole, which is always challenging, but it is a more advanced option. 
and I just do not have the grip today. This heat wave in the UK is killing me <laughs> and it's holding me back on content and I'm losing the will to live. But anyways, we got this one done today. I love it. I think it's super, super fun. I hope you will too. And as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And don't forget to train smarter, not harder.